All right, everybody, you're looking at Cookie and Capone <laughs> in Dustin Yearman's lap. Maybe he's soon to be on the floor. <laughs> but they're adorable. Two-year-old Yorkie Schnauzer mixes. Uh, a brother and sister who we prefer to, of course, be um, adopted together. Yes, Dustin, that's your requirement. Yeah, so. Dustin Yearman is here from the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Dr. Sue Y. Lagala is here, our local vet. We're going to be talking about the best toys for pets. Dustin, let's talk about these two. Okay, Cookie, this is Cookie and this is Capone. They're two year old Yorkie <laughs> Schnauzer mixes that were just surrendered to the shelter. Um, their family did love them very much mm -hmm. and did. They're both speed and neutered, uh, vaccinated, and ready to go. So their adoption fee will be cheaper to adopt them together. So it's not a problem. Um, <laughs> not for you. Uh, they are a lot of fun, very sweet, outgoing, happy-go-lucky dogs. Again, they're young, so they have lots of energy. The family was a military family that was forced to move around a lot. Uh, just had a baby, and it was just a lot of things to handle for them. So they thought, just they they really were looking out for the best interest of the dog and finding them a placement. So we promised that we would find them a home together because they've been together their whole lives. Sure. Um, very friend, very friendly, outgoing. We'll make they could be really a great addition for just about anyone. Right. And you say they are ready to go, spayed, neutered, yeah, so, house broken. So even good. though you're adopting two dogs, mm -hmm. the price of it is still going to be very reasonable. All right. So Dr. Sue, who is going to make a great uh, forever home for these dogs? I mean, these are young and they are fairly active breeds. Mm -hmm. So I think someone that, um, you know, has uh, you know, middle-aged children that can help take care of them, that's very active, they can get outside. Mm -hmm. um, they will require you know, some grooming yeah, every couple absolutely, of weeks. Absolutely, no question. So there is some extra expenses yeah. that you have to keep that in mind. But I think not not somebody who's sedentary, I think somebody who does have, lead a little bit of an active lifestyle, mm -hmm. um, who can afford the additional grooming expenses and things like that would be, would be a great addition for them. Well, what about if the home already has a dog or a pet? That's fine. I mean, yeah. You have to keep in mind some towns are a two dog limit, some mm -hmm. towns are three, and some dogs don't have a limit. So if you're a two dog limit, then yeah. And you're adding a third, then probably not the best and, idea. And you normally do the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. We do require a meet right. and greet. Yeah. yeah, to make sure that you know that you you know you can't anticipate everything, but to make sure that you can try to anticipate whether there yeah. are going to be any and also interactions when you're, between the dogs. When you're taking a dog home for the first few weeks, you don't want to give them total freedom with right. other dogs. Mm -hmm. Be careful about sharing food, sharing toys, while well, everything is still a learning stage. And yeah. It is a little bit of give and take and growing room. Yeah. So kinda, always, you know, like use a little vigilance. Now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm a mother again. Yes. So Cookie and Capone, you don't even want to change their names. They're adorable. That's Waiting really for you cute. over at the Buffalo yeah. Animal Shelter. Will be adopted together. Yes. Right. That's important. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about some toys right. that are better than others. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, people go to the pet store and they just sort of pick out random toys. And, and I'm sort of guilty of that with my cats, but you want to try to use a pick a toy that, that that serves a purpose so it's almost like you would choose a toy for a child right. really so is it educational is it is it mentally stimulating for them do they have to is there some sort of goal do they have to work for something in terms of getting the food out of it um, is it a bonding toy is it something that the new two can play with together so that it enhances that bonding between owner and pet is it good for overall dental health? You know, yeah. is it a toy that's going to stimulate the gums, take tartar off the teeth? And obviously always the biggest thing is, is it a safe toy? Yeah. So if you have a big dog and this is fabric, is this something that they're gonna shred and may eat and could cause an intestinal obstruction? You can pull it apart in the store, don't buy it. Yeah, yeah. Or, or you know, shards of it come off. So you know, there's some big rope toys that are really good and, mm -hmm. and sturdy, but there's other toys where they're gonna pull strings off and string for a foreign body is not something that you want no. to get involved with. So, you know, really look at the toy that you're buying, look at the breed that you have, and, and what is what is the purpose? Is it is it sturdy? Is it, you know, indestructible? Is it is it mentally yeah. stimulating for him? Yeah. Is it working on bonding? So so just play make think of those things before you purchase All a toy. All right, everybody. Listen, you may spend more, but you know what? It'll last a long time. Mm -hmm. Cookie and Capone waiting over at the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Dr. Sue, thank you for your expertise. Thank you, Dustin, for coming in tomorrow. More Buffalo Home Show tickets. So we want to thank you for 